How are you? God bless you. Today I want to give an advice to us, to the men, to the women. And these instructions, if we abide by them, would be grateful and will have a, a peaceful home. Not like um, a painted sepulchre, not like a whitewashed grave. We see people see beautiful cars, amazing dresses, good tailors, but we get, in, we get into the home and we are crying. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. So let's look at these five major instructions. That, and it applies to you if you're engaged or you're thinking of getting married. Number one, be of one mind. Can two work together except they be agreed? No. You must have one mind. Do you know why there is friction? You don't understand each other. Amazingly, understanding doesn't have to do with proximity. You know why you shout when you're talking? It's because the person who is close to you that you're talking to doesn't hear you. That's why you're raising your voice. Because if she hears you, if he hears you, you're not going to shout. But you're shouting because there is tendency for somebody not to hear you well when you said it the first time. Be of one mind. It takes two. Any time you hear we quarreled, it took two. It doesn't take one. So it takes two to quarrel. For you to have one mind, speak one language, maintain unity, you must be of one mind and you must understand each other because it takes two. Listen, sit down to understand, agree. See, do you know if I write, if I write this, for me, seeing it is nine. From the other end is six. From this end is art. We are all right, but from where we are talking from. So you have to be of one mind. Be compassionate. Don't be impatient. Don't be easily irritated. There are pressures. And the tendency, I'm going to say one word. By the time I'm done, be patient. Don't be impatient. Be very compassionate. Don't allow what is happening to overwhelm you and you're no longer in control. One of the characteristics of maturity is emotional stability. At every point in time, your emotions are stable and under control. Let your sympathy level increase and be empathetic let empathy take you over always put yourself in the shoes of that one be loving be loving love knows no error love is good love is patient love is kind love doesn't envy love doesn't hate love doesn't slander love is not a man g you know a man g murmuring and gossiping that's not love Every characteristics of love is what both of you should embrace. Be tender-hearted. Said it before, two wrongs don't make a, a right. Let your tender heart come into play. Even when somebody is derailing, be tender-hearted. Become like a child when it comes with um, um, problems, confusion. When somebody, conflict be a, as a child, talk like a child, and then be courteous. Be kind with words. The way you say it, how you say it, how you represent it, courteous. You're a nice person at work, but you are a lion at home. Now let me balance it. If I am a woman and my mouth is bad, I don't say it well. Apparently, I was overwhelmed. Something took me over. Or if I were to be a man, and I don't know it all, I'm always making a mistake. I don't get it right. My partner now should assume the position of a leader who shouldn't get angry with me, even if I'm not doing it well. This is where we quarrel. This is where we don't get it. I got angry because I'm irritated. I got angry because I don't like what you're doing. And you keep doing it over and over again. And I'm trying to make you understand that I don't like it. And you're getting angry at the same time.
Can we live together? How do we solve it? It takes two to quarrel. So now I've gone off. Now I'm not doing it well. This is where your maturity, be you a man or a woman, comes into play. At that point in time that I've derailed, sir, ma, it's your duty to get it right. I'm not to now get angry. So when we quarrel, it took the two of us. It doesn't take one. It takes two. To be loving, so to be tender-hearted, so to be um, um, a nice person with godliness and goodliness. Because if you follow me and behave like me, we can never stay together. It takes two to quarrel. It takes two to live in peace. God bless you.